Hi, I'm Peggy Snow and I'm the Youth Service Coordinator here at John Harden High School and I'm very excited to welcome you all all to our Bulldog Fine Arts and Crafts Gallery Walk. This is the first time we've ever done a Fine Arts and Crafts Gallery Walk and it's pretty exciting for all our Bulldogs. So this idea came about because my Rachel's Challenge Club was try were trying to come up with a way to involve all our students and get them re-engaged in our family atmosphere that we have here at John Harden. And they just, just, they just really kept coming back to the um, idea that our students are so talented. We have so many artistic, creative students, but not everybody knows that. And so they wanted to come up with a way that those students could share their talents and they came up with this idea. So from there, um, we have a fine arts um, committee here at John Harden and I went and I talked with those teachers to see if this might be something they might want to collaborate with. And they, they said yes, they would love to do that. So we, um, I went ahead and set up a registration process so our students would have to register what they were going to bring to the uh, gallery walk. And so it, a little thoughtfulness needed to go into the project. They had a period of time that they were going to be able to prepare the project. Now this wasn't just for students that were in the art program here at John Harden. It could be anyone that had a, um, an, a, a talented ability. So we have a wide variety of things here at our art exhibit and it will be on display now until next week. So it's a two and a half week period of display. And the neat thing is we have a way for our students to visit with their classes and then they will get to vote on whatever piece they think was the best. So we are going to have, a, we have a prize for first, second, and third place. The students, when they finish coming to the um, gallery walk, they are able to access the voting um, ballot by a QR code, and then they can vote first, second, or third. And we were very lucky to have an anonymous donor give us some gift cards. We have a $75 gift card for our winner, a $50 gift card for our second place, and a $25 gift card for our third place. So we're pretty excited and hopefully you'll enjoy looking around today at all the wonderful exhibits here at John Harden. So the Rachel's Challenge Club is based on a program that came to Hardin County Schools probably 10 years ago. And we had a large big assembly that came to our campus and at the assembly they discussed uh, Rachel, and her experience at the Columbine shooting in Colorado. Rachel was the first victim of that sh uh, mass shooting at that high school. But after the uh, shooting was, com was done and when they were working through the process of grieving for Rachel, they found all this information about how Rachel had touched the lives of so many students at that high school. And so, as a result, they came up with their program where they visited the high schools, but when they come and do the assembly, they also start a club where students can come together and come up with programs and activities for their student body, for their peers, to help them feel like they belong. And so everyone is connected to someone in a warm atmosphere here at school and, you know, to combat bullying and, um, so the students feel safe and that they have friends. And so here at John Harden, we have a Rachel's Challenge Club. It's small this year, but we have combined it with our SAD Club, which is our Students Against Destructive Decision Club. And we come together and we uh, work on programs to help combat bullying and help have students come together and make friendships and build relationships. And so this, we were hoping that with our activity, here today, the Bulldog uh, Fine Arts and Crafts Gallery Walk that we would bring our student body together. Hi, my name is Veronica Castro. I'm a senior here at John Harden High School and I'm a part of the Rachel's Challenge um, RC SAG Club. So students also against destructive decisions. And right here is the art gallery that we hosted for the artistic students in John Harden. We wanted to bring this together so the artistic students, towards the end of the year, we wanted to just unite everybody and help them come together to broadcast all of their talent um, because we just have not had anything like this the whole year. So we wanted to go out with a bang, <laughs> I guess you would say. We have done other things with the Rachel's Challenge. We've done 
um, Red Ribbon Week to promote students against drugs. We have also done campaigning for the veterans during Christmas. We make cards, we got everyone together to do cards for them. So we were just doing a lot of nice things, but right here, I think this is definitely great for the whole school to come together and participate, because as you can see, we have beautiful art. Um, they showed out, all of these students showed out, and even though there is first, second, third place, everyone is a winner in my eyes. They all did amazing. Um, and hopefully this becomes an annual thing because this will be just gorgeous. And also I hope this goes to other schools in Hardin County because this would be a great thing to just unite the whole school together, each grade level with whatever talent they have. We have from painting, writing, photographs, even clothing. It's just, it's gorgeous. And every single student in John Hardin should be able to see this and also add to it. Rachel's Challenge is an excellent organization because it helps promote students to be kinder to one another and also to be kind to themselves because I think that is one thing that we look past when we're in high school. We forget that even though you come to school and these kids don't go home with you, they're still your family. You see them probably more than you see your parents every single day. And I think that's a big thing and we shouldn't take that for granted. So Rachel's Challenge helps combine school and unity so everyone can feel like they just go hand in hand. Um, I'm Samantha McNichol. I'm in the ninth grade, and this is the painting that I submitted. Um, I created it in hopes of it being very positive and uplifting and personalizing nature and the beauty of nature with the sun, like, waking up with the day and rising over the sunset. Um, or it could be a sun, or a, as a sunrise or as a sunset with it going down. Um, I used diff many different techniques to get the different points across, but it, I wanted it to just, just be very positive, like colorful, bright, happy, like painting, because that's what I usually like to express with art instead of like sad things, because. I enjoy art because it is a great way to express myself and my feelings. Um, in different ways and mediums and contexts to share to more people. Um, since sometimes talking to people and explaining things to them is harder, but it's easier to just show it through art and displays of things. Hi, my name's Brittany Williams and I'm in the 11th grade. Um, I made this quilted coat because I saw a lot of coats like this that were becoming popular on the internet and uh, Recently, I know in Vogue, they started doing more quilted things, too. Um, I like quilting a lot. Uh, I've been doing it since I was six uh, with my mom, and I just wanted to challenge myself and make something that, that like, I could wear to express how much I love hand-making things. So. Hi, I'm Hannah White. I'm in 11th grade, and... Um, this is my drawing of my aunt's dog, Titan. Um, my aunt is my, my first aunt that I've had, so she means a lot to me, and I wanted to make something that would uh, make her really happy. And um, I figured some, her child, her dog, um, would do that for her. I used chalk pastels. Um, it took me an accumulative time of about two weeks to make um, although without adding that all up it took me months um, yeah I hope that they can be inspired to do something that they're scared to do because it took me a long time to finally start it because I was scared I wouldn't be able to do it and I was scared that I wasn't good enough to do it and once I actually did it I figured out like hey I can actually do this so I, I just hope that people can see that they can do things even if they don't necessarily feel like they can. I'm Kai Fox, grade 10, and this, I honestly, a lot of it's like nature. I love nature. It's really nice, and butterflies are one of my very favorite. They're really pretty, honestly, and flowers, flowers too. So I just thought of a little butterfly and a sunset with some vines and flowers around it. I used Sharpies and Ohuhu markers. I enjoy art because it brings me a lot of joy and it's really fun to do and you get to like 
just express yourself in any way you'd like. Hi, I'm Brianne Anderson and I'm in the 10th grade. So uh, I drew a tiger because they're really cool looking animals. Uh, they're like big and they have like really nice patterns. Um, I did this in just like pencil and paper because <laughs> that's what I'm good at, I guess. And I really like to draw because it's something fun to do in like when I'm bored and in my free time and I like to create things because it's really fun to do. And yeah, that's my tiger. <laughs> I'm Chris Cannon, I'm in 10th grade and um, this is a piece from a game that I like called Splatoon. Um, I drew it because I like Splatoon and I didn't really know what else to draw for it. Um, I used a uh, pen and I don't know what the markers are called, but I use like alcohol markers. Um, I like to draw because uh, it's just something that I've always done. I've done it since I was really little and it's just a good thing to do when I don't know what else to do. And that's about it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Zakiah Covington and uh, my, I'm a senior in John Harner High School and this is my piece. Uh, I made this piece because um, I wanted to inspire uh, women, uh, tell women that uh, you know they run the world, and to inspire other women to uh, create art. Um, the media I used to do this was digital art. I used the program Ibis Paint for it because you know it's easy for me. I enjoy doing digital projects because um, you, the programs ha have everything in like one area. Um, and like anything you could you could pull, import anything you you would like into digital art so you could paint sketch uh, edit photos videos etc onto anything hello my name is Amanda I did this portrait um, I used pencil for it um, I really wanted to show a lot of emotion in this picture it started out with just like a simple little sketch that wasn't really gonna go anywhere and then I started building around it and it became this little portrait that I made. Um, I didn't really have any kind of picture or reference to do this. I kind of just came up with it. It helps me express things more. I started out doing it whenever I started doing therapy and it just caught along to it. Um, hi, my name is Javier Brett and I did my um, pottery piece. Um, <laughs> I didn't really know what I was going to do at first. I guess it was more of like a burst of creativity. Um, I did this a couple weeks ago. Um, and why I enjoy art. I know it's just really fun to me seeing um, something I start out with and then seeing it grow, if that makes any sense. Yeah, you see, I didn't really have an idea of what I was doing. It was just more of a, I just wanted to make it look, you know, pretty cool. I think it turned out fine. My name's Madison Curtis. I am a 12th grader at John Harden High. This is my artwork. I made it with oil pastels. Um, gosh, did, How long did it take you to make oh, it? Um, a good two, about two, three weeks. I, um, Geez, I don't know what to say, really. Oh, okay. Did you start with a base color and then add to it, or did you go from bottom to top, or top to bottom? Well, I started in the middle, and I just kind of spread out during it. And to me, I would say this is this would be kind of like emotions, like, you know, happy emotions, and then you have, like, the blues, and those are like, you know, the sad emotions and then you have like the reds and the darker tones and it's like you know anger
addition to the Bulldog Fine Arts and Gallery Walk, the Youth Service Center is super busy this spring. Uh, we have a couple new programs, one that started in the fall, our Bulldog Story Hour, which is involves our little free library that is over by my office on the left side of our building. It's available to anyone in the Bulldog community. But our story hour is in the, we had three different uh, story hours in the fall. We have three this spring and it involves um, our students and this this Monday night we'll have one. The, we have different clubs that will come and host the story hour and those club leaders are able to read stories to our younger bull pups. So we invite Heartland and New Highland to come with their families and even some of our families uh, attend Woodland and we invite them to come to story hour. The students are able to, the children are able to listen to a story, they're able to get a sweet treat and they get to take a, a book home from the little free library. And so we will have three. Our next one is Monday night at six o'clock here on the left side of the building, you'll see the little uh, red tent. If it is raining, we just pull it inside. So either way, either way, rain or shine. And then the other big activity that we're doing for the first time this year is our senior cafe nights. And so this past Wednesday, we had our first one, the Bulldog Senior Cafe, and we will have three more for the next three Wednesdays. And we are talking about adulting issues. As our seniors transition to, to adult life, there's different things that come up and I have some great young speakers talking about those issues with our students. Plus they get a free spring drink and we have door prizes. It's a pretty nice night. 